Good morning, everyone. Uh, we're off to a bit of a late start today. Uh, Nick just came back from the gym and I just got back from a run. <laughs> yeah, we're calling the gym walk uh, the pilgrimage yeah. because it's like you got to crawl halfway up the mountain to get there. It's yeah. like what like a, I've, I think I timed it today, about a 35 minute walk each way. Mm -hmm. Uh, just straight uphill and then straight downhill. It's like a nice warm up, the hike, right? Like it's a nice oh, it's the best warm up and the most aesthetic warm up in the world. <laughs> the better the view, the faster the time passes of the walk. Yeah. So it's like There's you can't see, be better. Yeah, so much to see. That's the good part about it. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. But what are we doing today? <laughs> today we've got a couple hours before we got to get back to work. Uh, so we are going to a restaurant that was recommended to us. Not really sure if the pronunciation is right, but it's called. Tengya? Tengya? I think so. Okay. Um, but it's a barbecue restaurant and it's supposed to be really good, authentic Montenegrin food. And so. it's uh, located just outside of the old town, Kotor. Uh, just a little bit past it from the direction we're walking right now. Yeah. Um, so let's check it out. Yeah. Right now we're about three quarters of the way through our pilgrimage into <laughs> yeah. Kotor. Yeah, so it's like 35 minute walk to get to the gym. And then from our place to the to the restaurant, it's like another it's an hour walk each way. And so we get like fifteen to twenty thousand steps every single day just trying to get to places. Yeah, we're really uh, we're really getting our steps in, walking a lot. Yeah. Toning our calves. Oh totally. Yeah, like uh, we talked to a bike rental guy and we asked him like, you know, how much uh, how much can you, uh, how much of a deal can you give us to rent bikes for 40 days? Mm -hmm. And he gave us an estimate of about, what was it, 450 euros? I think 400 euros. 400 euros. For the month. And uh, I don't know, it's kind of pricey. So I'm thinking if we can walk it as much as we can and only rent the bikes if we're going extra far or we just don't have a lot of time, then we can save a lot of money. Yeah, we'll just walk. Like, yeah, maybe we can always rent bikes on the weekends. Um, yeah. When we have more time to explore, but. For now, we're walk maxing. Walk maxing. <laughs> and uh, we continue our walk. So, uh, see ya when we get there. Okay, so they have like a, a hidden backyard here, which is way more aesthetic than, uh, than inside. So that's very nice to have. Um, so for drinks, we got two Cidavita. Uh They just have a fridge, you just go in and grab it. Um, and Cidavita, it's a cool drink. You get all of, uh, you get a bottle of water basically. And inside the cap is a powder. It's like vitamin mix basically. And so you peel off this ring from the cap that sits like right here rip it off and then you slap it down and the powder falls into the water, mix it up and you get your own drink. It's just a fun little enticing way to, to sell a product. Yeah, cool. this is what the cap looks like. So like, they, I guess they put the powder in that little piece inside, mm -hmm. but it's really good. We love all the flavors, especially lime yeah. and lemon. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, the ordering process is quite, is quite cool. You know, you can choose whatever meat you want and how much of it you want. Um, but the most economical way to uh, to get a lot of food, uh, which is what we prioritize, is to just get um, the like family platters kind of deal. Uh, and so we got the triple XL platter, uh, which is supposed to feed three people, or um, in this case, two people and one person. So, <laughs> <laughs> uh, and so they're just gonna like, you know, just grab a bunch of meat, cook it, and we'll see what we get when we get it. You know. <laughs> That's awesome. So let's um, give a little summary. So it's a lot of food, thank God. <laughs> yeah. um, so for meat, it looks like we've got some chicken, some bone in it, and like skewered boneless. Um, looks like some pork chops, I think, and some chavapi, like beef chavapi at the bottom. Okay. I think. Um, 
it came with a couple different sauces this one looks kind of like a onion tzatziki sauce this one he said is like a spicy sauce and this looks like some ivor um and then it comes with some tomatoes some cucumbers i think this is like a pickled onion or beet um, i think some, maybe both yeah and then some cabbage and some cucumber salad and of course it comes with some bread looks really good <laughs> and we're starving so it's great All right, delicious. Yeah, that was really, really good. It seems like Montenegrin food is very similar to Croatian and Serbian food. <laughs> yeah. a lot of barbecue. Yeah, but uh, this was authentic barbecue. Like, yeah. like you can tell whenever something's made in a pan versus made on a grill. And these, are, this is definitely grilled. The chicken especially, you can really taste it. It's, yeah. uh, it was really yummy. And uh, <laughs> God, it's a lot of food for the money as well. <laughs> yeah, but, something Nick noticed about like the barbecue here um, in the Balkans, I mean, is that they don't usually give you like sauces. Like yeah. in North American barbecue, I guess, they give you like barbecue sauce or like ketchup or other yeah. sauces. Um, yeah, like you think of Texas barbecue, you think of ribs and they're like very fall off the bone and then slathered in sauce right yeah. uh here uh this is the first barbecue place we've been to where they actually provide sauce for you and it's in little bowls you dip it instead of it being on top of the meat itself yeah we had some really good the eye bar was really good mm -hmm. the spicy sauce we found wasn't really spicy with most things here that claim they're spicy we find it's more just like sweet with a little kick it's got a little bit of chili in it yeah. um but like I don't know, it's like pretty chill. Yeah, uh, like I wouldn't not... call that like a hot sauce or anything. Yeah, I don't know. Um, but then also the tight, the way that they cook the meat as well, um, I find compared to North American barbecue that we're used to, um, this meat here is um, a little bit, I think like tougher. It's not dry, but it's just like a little a little bit tougher. Whereas yeah. um, uh, the, the meat, uh, like the ribs and, yeah. and the chicken wings, um, if you go to a really good North Amer American barbecue place, it's kind of fall off the bony. Yeah, I think, well, yeah, it's not necessarily like smoked meat here where it's like cooked for a long, long time. Mm -hmm. um, but True. it's also got like a nice smoky flavor from like the charring on the grill, which I personally prefer over like slow cooked barbecue. Okay. But nice yeah. yeah i guess maybe really i'm just a, uh, my personal preference is slow cooked but i still really love what we had today for yeah. sure my favorite part was the sauce the white sauce so yeah. i thought it was tzatziki at first i think it's something similar so it's it, like yogurt and pickle or something yeah yogurt and pickle it was so good on every single thing on the plate um it was delicious and actually we couldn't even finish the plate we brought like yeah. maybe a third of it home uh, so we have dinner. It was made for three people, um, yeah. but I just I didn't have that like insane appetite that I sometimes have. Today it was like I mean, it was a lot of food. Yeah, it's like it was. A lot. I mean, both ate a lot. For sure. But, um, yeah, it was thirty-seven euro altogether. I think thirty-two with just the food, and then we also got two drinks. Yeah. So not a bad deal when you consider it's like our lunch and dinner. True. So yeah, for sure. Also, side note. Get, get a load of us casually standing in front of uh, this crazy view. It's ever like 360 degrees of everywhere we look at. It's this kind of stuff. So like it's creating the ultimate backgrounds for whatever we're recording. Yeah. It's crazy. A minute ago, we were just walking home and I was saying like, I want to stare into that view so that it gets burned into my eyes and I can just look at it whenever I close my eyes. <laughs> it's so beautiful. It's crazy. Yeah. It's uh, it, it almost, it's uh, I was telling Rylan that whenever we were booking this place to stay, mm -hmm. it almost felt like I was thinking like, okay, that view is really cool, but is it going to be one of those things where you have to drive two hours to go see it, you know? But no, it's it's everywhere. We're in this view as like as we live here, yeah. You know, so that's just something that I've never experienced before to like actually stay right in the middle of all the cool looking stuff. Yeah, you I know? think it's definitely like. It's going to be hard to get used to. Like, it's not a view you really can, like, take for granted. But For sure, for sure. I'm wondering, though, like, by week six, we're going to be like, all right, been there, done that, <laughs> whatever. Mountains, okay. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, there's always, like, a few minutes when we first leave the house where it's like, wow, I'm <laughs> just looking at it. Yeah. But anyways, that's our day. Yeah. So, uh, thanks for watching us look at food and talk about food. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we'll yeah. see you tomorrow. See ya.